The little lion head rabbit breed is a really strange looking little rabbit at first glance he looks more like a cavy than it does a rabbit. They are a small rabbit with a big woolen fur mane that can be of either a double or single mane type. They are actually great little pets and exhibit a lot of intelligence, they are active, lively, and love getting attention. The lion head rabbits are a breed of mostly domestic nature. And we are pets nurturing are here with a boatload of information on this rare pet. The lion head rabbit information here is everything that a new owner needs to adopt or take care of them. It is recognized by the British Rabbit Council, BRC, and also by the American Rabbit Breeders Association, ARVA. The lion head rabbit also has a woolly mane that encircles the head. This is reminiscent of the name of a male lion and this is where its name originates. Lionhead Rabbit Origin and History Many believe lionhead rabbits are a result of crossbreeding between Swiss foxes and Belgian dwarves. Now there's no definitive timeline of when the genetic mutation originally happened, but lionheads first started appearing in the 1960s in Belgium and France. Because of the striking mane and a complementing physique, breeders started breeding these mutations until they successfully secured the genes that result in a lofty mane. Ultimately, it resulted in a breed we popularly know today as the Lionhead. The first Lionheads arrived in the US only in 2000. The British Rabbit Council recognized Lionhead rabbits in 2002, while the American Rabbit Breeders Association did so only in 2014. Lionhead rabbit size and body structure. A lot of emphasis is put on a Lionhead rabbit's appearance since they are popular as show rabbits. Both ARBA and BRC have set out their standards for the appearance. A full-grown six-plus months of age lionhead rabbit will usually weigh three and three-quarters to four pounds, whereas juniors, under six months will clock in somewhere around 3.5 pounds. A doe, female rabbit is a few ounces lighter than a buck, the male rabbit. As for height, lionhead rabbits will grow up to 8 to 10 inches, and their ears are usually 2 to 3 inches high. The mane will also grow anywhere between 2 to 3 inches. The head is mostly bold and broad, with a subtle roundness between the eyes. A high head mount boldly attaches the body to the head. As a result, there's no visible neck in lion heads. The muzzle is well filled, and the eyes are bright. The ears are erect and well formed, creating a V-shape when relaxed. Well furred and rounded at the tips, the ears are also woollier midway up the length. Some lion heads have a flatter face than usual, owing to brachycephaly. The flat-faced feature is usually unnoticeable but is pronounced in some. Lion head rabbit's coat and colors. Lionhead rabbit's renowned mane will grow anywhere between 2 to 3 inches. Although the mane looks woolly to the eyes, it is super soft to the touch. Lionheads can either be born with a single or double mane. Single mane lionheads only have a wispy, thin mane around their necks, not hindquarters. With age, the mane will fall off and look quite sparse. On the other hand, rabbits with a double mane will have twice as much fur compared to their single mane counterparts. They'll also have an excess of fur around the hindquarters referred to as a skirt, in addition to thick tresses around the neck. If you're a first-time owner or think you'll have a hard time managing all that fur, a single mane lionhead rabbit might be the preferable choice for you. Conversely, if you're okay with brushing your rabbit's mane and cleaning the fallen fur daily, a double mane rabbit will perfect for you. Lionheads come in more than a dozen different colors, including black, chocolate, blue point, and chestnut agouti. Normally, they don't have any markings on the body. While BRC recognizes all colors as long as they conform to a recognized pattern or color, ARBA has a few reservations. A reputable breeder can easily determine a single mane from a double as well as color. So, if you have specific preferences in your mind, don't forget to ask your breeder. Lionhead Rabbit's Diet With a perfect temperament for a pet, calm and affectionate, the Lionhead Rabbit is an ideal choice for a home with children. Keep your pet in good condition and enjoy excellent health. Your veterinarian can tell you which foods are the best and what quantities they need, according to their age. In general, it is estimated that for every half kilo of weight, you must give your pet one eighth cup of rabbit feed. The meal should be complemented with fresh leafy vegetables, such as lettuce or Swiss chard. Don't give him broccoli because it's rich in calcium and increases the chance of kidney stones. You can give them sweets like banana, apple, or carrot in small daily amounts, and make sure you never forget to leave fresh water in his cage. Never give him sweet things like cookies, because their bodies don't tolerate sugar. Health Concerns Spinal Injury Problems Lion heads are famous for having very delicate spines. A scared or shocked rabbit may suddenly kick out at people or objects with its hind legs, which generally causes spinal damage from the force of the action. Injuries also occur when a rabbit is badly handled or dropped. Symptoms include paralysis and lethargy. The treatment generally depends on the severity of the fracture and the general health of the rabbit. 
Even though spinal trauma can't be cured, there are a few procedures that help to correct an injury. Generally, though, rabbits that have suffered some kind of severe spinal fracture don't feel pain at all. Parasite problems. Parasites are a very normal problem in all breeds of rabbits. The chelatella mites in particular can cause major itching and hair fall, but this condition can be easily treated using anti-mite preparations in the form of injections or on spot treatments. The parasite named E. cuniculi can be a bit more difficult to treat safely. It's communicated by spores in their urine and can even be passed on to other rabbits which are dangerous. Although some rabbits with this parasite do not show any symptoms, others are more sensitive and get sick easily. Symptoms include abnormal thirst and urination, problematic cataracts, head tilt, and most important paralysis in the back legs. Lion heads are more prone to fly strike, as the eggs can easily stick to their fur or any tangles in their long fur. With immediate intervention, the treatment can be effective. Gastrointestinal problems. Rabbits have a digestive tract that is very sensitive so they need a lot of fiber to help stimulate gut movements and maintain a good healthy digestive system. Conditions like gastric stasis can happen when the gut sort of stops working or is obstructed which creates a buildup of materials like gas and bacteria that are responsible for bloating. This condition may lead to the release of toxins, which can turn fatal if it is left untreated. Even though it is relatively common in all rabbits, some breeds are more prone to gastrointestinal disorders than the other breeds. The rabbits that are prone to dental problems, such as the lion heads, and those breeds that are easily stressed out, may lose most of their appetite and thus not eat the fiber that is needed to keep their guts functioning. Some symptoms include a loss of appetite and major lethargy with a hunched posture and reduced bowel movements which results in diarrhea. The treatment can involve the use of motility drugs which help to stimulate gut movement. And there is also pain medication to help alleviate the symptoms. Lionhead Rabbit's Needs Cage Your rabbit's living space should be as big as possible. If you have a backyard or a park nearby, allow him to exercise for a bit every day, but never at the hottest hours or at night in winter. If you live in an apartment, its cage should be big enough for it to move easily. Remember to clean the cage, and remove food debris and waste. Veterinarian As a general rule, you should take your rabbit to the vet at least once a year. Keep up with the vaccination schedule given to you by your vet and pay close attention to the following symptoms that may indicate diseases, weight loss decline, wet chin, watery eyes, diarrhea, or discharges from the nose. The lionhead rabbit is an excellent pet. If you care for it well it will live happily and healthily for up to 10 years. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.